Welcome Virgos. Hi. Hi. Hello everyone. I'm so happy to be here with you guys today. Let's take a look into January. Let's see what's coming. Let's see what is in store for my Virgos for January 2020. We got Destiny. Okay, so that is the Wheel of Fortune, okay? So that means things are changing, okay? The wheel is spinning, things are going in your favor. We got this light card, which is the sun card, Leo's energy, but very bright, bright energy, okay? Accelerated motion, okay? This is things going fast, things picking up, things are changing fast. A lot of you guys may have been seeing the number 555, okay? I peep that, catching on to that as well. Look, we got... Thinking about the past here, okay? The past is on your mind, possibly, all right? And how hard that you, you had it with the financial strain and fi financial and material changes, okay? So some of you guys could have had it hard, okay? Could be coming out of a financial strain or something that you may feel like has been holding you back, but I feel like things are getting ready to change, okay? Things are getting ready to change. Some of you are trapped in fear, okay? All right, some of you are trapped in fear, but you don't need to be, okay? You need to have, be more, you know, in control. All right, some of you guys are going to be deciding to move on from things that no longer serve you. All right, let's get it. Let's go ahead and get it. We got Destiny again at the bottom of the deck. All right, so let's see. I'm sensing there's some changes coming in for Virgos. Virgos are going through some changes, okay? The first card we have is Triumph, all right? So this is Cancer's card, so you could be dealing with the Cancer, but this is most definitely forward movement and progression, okay? So your mind could be definitely focused on forward movement, okay? How to move forward, how to push through, how to get ahead, okay? The next card is Material Harvest. Wow, okay? This is also the single card, so a lot of you guys could be moving forward and you're focused on yourself, okay? Maybe a single, um, you know, be a single individual now, but your focus is on material harvest, okay? Your focus is on being the best version of you, okay? And then we have the shadow, which is the moon card, which is the card of Pisces. Now, this is things that are, you know, in the subconscious mind. Okay, as well as things that are hidden, that are kept in the dark. All right, I want to pull a few clarifiers before we get too, too, too deep. <laughs> I want to grab a few clarifiers, all right? So let's see. With triumph here, why is triumph here for my Virgo? My Virgos, why is triumph here for Virgos? What message is there for Virgos? Why is triumph here? All right. Four of Swords. So some of you possibly have been, you know, kind of sitting around. This is the, you know, kind of lazy card where you're kind of just, you know, not doing too much. I feel like there's a certain urge to get up and get things going, okay? Then once again, look, the universe is conspiring, okay? Someone has made a final decision to make some changes. Somebody has made a final decision that they are going to change something. After a period of time of thinking, of meditating um, on how to move forward, I feel like action is getting ready to be taken. All right, so with material harvest here, why is material harvest here for my Virgos? Why is material harvest here for Virgos? We got the judgment cards, all right? So someone's making a final decision. Someone is making a final decision. We got the king of pentacles here, which is you guys' it's energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But focused in on that pentacle, okay? Some of you guys are going to be focusing on money, okay? Your material, things that are tangible, Things that can take you to the next level, okay? Some of you guys are going to be starting businesses. Some of you are going to be focused more on your career and your finances, okay? I feel like this is something that comes out of the blue. Like this conversation, a conversation could be had, you know, could you be having a conversation and then just out of the blue, someone says, you know, you know, I've been thinking, you know, 
I think that I want to do this. I think that I want to do that. I think this, I want to take something to the next level. Okay, so there's the final decision, okay? And with the shadow here, shadow card. Why is shadow here? Why is shadows here for Virgo, please? Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy again. All right. We got the lover's card, which is the card of Gemini. But this is definitely a decision. Some of you guys possibly have two lovers, okay? Two lovers that you need to make a decision on because we got the seven of cups here as well, okay? So most definitely a decision possibly in love, okay? So some of you guys have more than one option, okay? And this could be something that you're keeping hidden, but you you may have an a, a alternate option, an option or two or three, you know? And some of you guys are going to be feeling like you need to go ahead and make a choice, a decision, okay? So let's see what else we have going on in January for you guys. All right, let's look into the challenges and obstacles that could possibly be in the way, okay? So we're looking at challenges and obstacles now. Virgo, please give me a message for Virgo, God. What is the challenges for Virgos? Show me obstacles. What could be in the way of Virgos getting to their destination, getting what they deserve? What challenges could be in the way? We need to know what these challenges are, okay? What are the challenges? What are the challenges for Virgos? All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have the magician. All right, the magician. All right, so with the magician, I feel like with the magician, you're having all the tools that you need to make something successful to manifest your desires, right? But with the magician, this is saying you are ready. You have all the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical at this at this point in time. I feel like you have everything that you need. But the thing about the magician is he can also be very manipulative. Okay. So let's see. We have the king of fire. This is most definitely taking action. Okay. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. But this is most definitely taking action this is most definitely being focused um and being a leader okay and this is about being creative as well okay we have six of fire lots of fire lots of fire energy here six of wands okay so this is about being victorious and good news is on the way public recognition or being rewarded so something here about using your creativity Something that I'm picking up here as well. A lot of you guys are very creative. Um, and it's time to put those create those those things that you're good and crafty with. It's time to put those to work. This is going to be how you're going to get your victory and success. Okay. Ace of Fire. You got all fire cards. This is all about action. It's time for you guys to put in the work. It's time for you guys to just do it. Okay. 2019, you guys may have already, you already know what you're good at, okay? You already know what it is that you need to do, but now it's time to actually do it, okay? Ace of fire, all you guys got as your, what's in the way is fire energy. An exciting new opportunity, career advancement, and change your life now. This is about forward movement, okay? You guys just got to put in the work. You got it. You guys just have to put forth the the effort. Okay? You got to take action. That's that's the challenge. All right? So let's get into love. Let's talk about love really quick. Let's see what's going on for Virgos in love, all right? In the love department. Let's see. What message is there for Virgos? Please give me three cards for Virgos. I see attraction. But some of you guys aren't sure if you could let your guard down, okay? You could possibly, I'm seeing separation. Some of you guys are separated from someone, okay? There's a space between you and this person. All right. And 
Some of you guys have been doing a little bit of flirting. Getting to know somebody a little better or whatever. Oh. Well, let's see. Let's get into it. Let's get into some things. Let's get into some things, Virgos. Let's see. Oh. We got to make the effort. All right. Make the effort. So, ooh, someone wants to get married or someone is married or someone wants to get married, okay? Someone wants the real full-fledged thing. Someone wants the commitment, okay? Somebody feels like somebody is playing around, being a little playful, but someone wants a commitment, okay? Someone wants a commitment. It could be you or somebody that, you know, a cross-watcher, but somebody wants some real deal commitment, Okay. What else do we have for Virgos? What else do we have for Virgos? What other message? All right. We have attraction. Okay. So there's a really... Someone that you're attracted to, okay? Someone, there's a lot of playfulness going on, okay? A lot of young, youthful type of energy playing around, flirting, okay? So there's an attraction that you have with someone or someone has an attraction to you. Someone who likes the way that you play or, you know, that playful energy. Someone is very attracted to that or vice versa. All right, give me one more card for Virgo. Give me one more card for Virgo, please. One more card for Virgo. Children. Okay, so children could be a factor in this situation. This could be like with someone that you have children with, but there's something that needs to be paid attention to. Okay, so right now someone is feeling like the children should be put in a forefront or someone needs to put more attention towards the children. Okay, so... For some of you guys, you know, children are involved. That's not for everyone, but for some, all right. Now, let's get into a read. Let's, let's get advice from the angels, and let's see what the angels have to say for my Virgos. Whoa, whoa, they got a lot to say, apparently, all right. All right, so the first one that jumped out we have ceremonies and celebrations. It's a time of important life passages such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, or anniversaries. So you guys are getting ready to celebrate something here. All right. And we have spiritual protection. You are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, and energetically. Okay. So you're being protected. You're being looked after. Let me get one more card. What other message do you have for Virgos? What are the messages there for Virgos? What are the messages there for Virgos? There we go. All right, and we have revealing your true self. All right, so as you allow others to, to know the real you, you'll feel love for who you truly are. So it's time to be your true self. You got to let your true self shine, okay? I feel like you guys need to know that you are protected, okay? Spiritually, um, physically, and emotionally, Okay, and most definitely, okay, you guys may be getting ready to, you know, get together with family, friends. There could be a wedding, a ceremony, or something to that nature. Okay, so get ready to party a little bit, have some fun, and be yourself. Okay, be yourself, Virgos. Be yourselves. Okay, all right, my loves. Until next time, happy new years. Ciao for now.